Can you name the following polygons? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we're going to be talking about the TIG 5.5a classified two-dimensional figures. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the types of polygons. This is a lesson three out of five. By the way, uh, today's lessons is one of the easiest of all, okay? So you only will need to count. As has been happening in the previous lessons, we're going to be working with this diagram. So you know that two-dimensional figures could be divided into polygons and non-polygons. With that being said, the polygons, we're going to divide them according to their sides, okay? We're going to start all the way from three sides, all the way to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, up to twelve in fifth grade. That doesn't mean that there are no polygons of 15 size, 20 size. Of course there are. However, in fifth grade, we are only going to talk about up to 12 size and vertices polygons. Okay? So now let's get started. If it has three sides and three vertices, it's a triangle. If all these sides are congruent, it's a regular triangle. If it has four sides and four vertices, it's a quadrilateral. If all of the sides are congruent, is a regular quadrilateral. If it has five sides and five vertices, it's a pentagon. Look at that weird shape. If all the sides of the pentagon are congruent, it's a regular pentagon. If it has six sides and six vertices, it's a hexagon. If all of the sides of the hexagon are congruent, it's a regular hexagon. If it has seven sides and vertices, like this arrow, it's a heptagon with a P. Heptagon. That's the difference between the six and the seven. Heptagon. If all the sides are congruent, that's going to be a regular heptagon. This little star with four corners is an octagon because it has eight sides. If all the sides and angles are the same, it's going to be a regular octagon. This arrow like this, it will be a nonagon. If all the sides and angles are the same, it will be a yes. Even I'm not going to repeat it. You can do it by yourself. These two arrows, the decagon, if all the same, it's going to be a regular decagon. This shape over here is a hendecagon, that means 11 sides and vertices. If all the sides are pretty much the same, it's a regular hendecagon. Not pretty much, if they are the same, they have to be the same. This one, this cross over here, is a dodecagon. That means that if all the sides or angles are the same, it's a regular dodecagon. Now, let's show time. Can you name the following polygons? Well, the first one, it looks like it has five sides. Yes, five sides. And are all the sides and angles congruent? Yes, they are. So that means that this one is a regular pentagon. Let's go with the second one, with the red one. That one has six sides. However, not all the sides and the angles are congruent. So that one is just a hexagon. What about the next one, the one on the right side? That one looks like a rhombus. Yes, that means that all the sides are congruent, but however, the angles are not congruent, so that means that it's just a quadrilateral. The next one, the purple, it's a triangle, but not all the sides are congruent, so that one is just a triangle. And the last one is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight shape with all the sides congruent and all the angles congruent. That one is a regular octagon. With that being said, guys, now you know the type of polygons. Thank you very much, guys. This was Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we were talking about the TIG 5.5a classified two dimensional figures. Specifically, we were talking about the types of polygons, and this was the lesson 3 out of 5. Now remember, before you leave, take some notes. Have a good one, guys!